Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm going to speak about the gluteus maximus muscle. The gluteus maximus muscle is the most superficial and the largest of the three gluteal muscles. It is quadrilateral shaped. It has a very large area of origin. There are several different things that I'm going to go over when I speak about the origin of the gluteus maximus muscle. The gluteal surface of the ilium behind the posterior gluteal line, the posterior border of the ilium in the adjacent part of the iliac crest, the dorsal surface of the lower part of the sacrum and the side of the coccyx, the sacrotuberous ligament and the aponeurosis of the sacrospinalis. The fibers of the gluteus maximus muscle run lateral and inferior at about a 45 degree angle. The insertion point for the upper part and the superficial fibers of the lower part is on the iliotibial band. The insertion spot of the deeper fibers of the lower part is at the gluteal tuberosity of the femur. It is innervated by the inferior gluteal nerve, which is vertebral levels L5, S1, and S2, and its main concentric action is hip extension. The gluteus maximus muscle works with the hamstring muscles to perform hip extension.